So this is a bike I've been working on for a little over a year now, just tinkering around with it, adding new custom stuff to it, just to make it more personalized. This is a 1984 uh, Schwinn. I did some research on it. There's a serial number down the dropout back there. It says 1184G, which means it was made in Taiwan at the Giant Factory. So that's cool. I put a uh, Let's see, I, it, had, it needed new tires and inner tubes, so I found these yellow tires that went really well with the with the blue and yellow uh, kind of color scheme I already had. So I got yellow tires for it, and then um, some yellow pedals and uh, yellow brake. brake uh, I did, when I put these eighth hangers on here, I had to uh, get a longer brake cable, so I ended up just getting a yellow housing for that. And then I don't know if you can see or not, but it's got blue like a blue metallic glittery handle grips there and then this is just a brake lever off of a BMX old BMX bike I had but uh, put a new gooseneck on it to, to hold these um, it had the old 10 speed handlebars the curly like ram's head looking handlebars I love these shifters it's one of the reasons I like this bike and I keep messing with it because these shifters um, are attached to the bike not the handlebars so every time I switch out like the handlebars the gooseneck or anything else I don't have to take off those shifter knobs they just stay right there on the on the uh, front of the frame there they're just held there with a nut so like I said one one thing I thought it was missing or that was kind of plain is that seat so I'm hoping to get kind of a cooler look replace that black seat with a uh, yellow banana seat I thought that would be cool so I ordered one in the mail um, and uh, let's we'll, we can check that out next and uh, see if it fits so we'll go from there I went online and found this one for $40, um, not too bad. Uh, there were some measurements that I needed to take before I bought it, and that was from the, um, I believe the seat post, the rear axle, and then and then the width of the rear axle to make sure this sissy bar will work with it. So this holds up the rear end of it. So let's take it over there. All my measurements worked out, so let's take it over there and see if we can get this installed and uh, customize this bike even more. Okay, so that doesn't look like it's going to work. Um, sits back a little bit too far for my taste. So I think uh, what I'm going to have to do is make some new risers. Um, I, I, I've got an idea already. Uh, probably going to use angle because I'm also a heavy guy. So angle will support that rear end of the, of the uh, banana seat a little bit better and uh, give me a little bit more comfort knowing that I'm being held up by that versus something, you know, flimsier like bar or tube, like that thin tubing or something like that anyway. So let's take a look here and see what our heights are going to have to be to get that up to where it needs to go. Okay, so I adjusted the seat up to where I kind of think it should sit. And now let's measure from our dropout this eye here and uh, see what we got for a measurement roughly and it looks like I'm not sure if you can see that or not but it's hitting right at 24 inches so from from our dropout to our to our hole we're about 24 inches and uh, so this one let's see here this one only goes up to 18 inches so it's for a shorter bike but um, that's fine that gives me a fun new project um, like I said I'm probably gonna make that an angle to give me a little bit more support back here I know I'll be sitting up here mostly but just to give this back a little bit more support and uh, hopefully I can find some like paint that'll match that blue so it can be blue and yellow but we'll see uh, yes I'm gonna go have to go find some steel and uh, try to make some some uh, risers for that that back end so um, let's get started
also, uh, I don't know if it's because I was in a hurry or what, but the first holes that I cut didn't line up with the second one. And uh, I noticed that the second one is, uh, let's see, they're not, but the second one, the second one I drilled also on the wrong side, which was lucky because the right side I was able to just stack them on top of each other, mark out where the holes were, and then make my center line, and then do my center punches so the holes line up perfectly now, as you can see. Um, and you want it to be perfectly lined or close, as close as you can get to it because otherwise, if they're not, your seat's going to be sitting kind of cattywampus. So now I've got these holes here, these extra holes, which I wasted a bunch of time drilling these holes and now I have to waste a bunch of time filling them. So good lesson is take your time and uh, make sure you're doing everything right. Um, but I'm just going to chalk it up to this being one of my first making videos so next time hopefully it won't be as clumsy but I like to point out my mistakes because now we can figure out a way to fill these like I said if I had a had easier access to a welder I'd probably just do that just weld those uh, grind them flat and then it'd be like they never even happened but I think I might try something else so let's look at that Okay, we got the holes filled, all five of them. Uh, all I did was take that bolt that you saw earlier, and I just found one that had the similar diameter, maybe a little bit smaller than the uh, holes that I drilled in it on the, by mistake, and peened those in. I cut it up into five pieces, as you saw, and peened those in each one of the holes, and then just ground it flush, like a rivet, kind of. And now we've got our holes all in the right places. They match up perfectly with our other side. Uh, I'm going to do some more grinding on this because this is going to be the top. This is where my rear is going to be near, so I don't want any sharp corners. and I want it to be nice, rounded, and smooth. And uh, So, yeah, it's all done. Can't even tell it happened for the most part. And once we get the paint on it, I'm going to clean it up. I obviously have to clean all this rust off of here before I paint. But once I do that, you shouldn't be able to tell. Or very, you'd have to look pretty close, I imagine. But didn't have to get out the welder. Um... Uh, you know, pretty easy, pretty easy fix. But uh, yeah, ultimately, it'd probably be a good idea to weld those in. But I don't think those will fall out. They're going to be on a bicycle seat.
Okay, so <clears throat> after three nice heavy coats of the Rust-Oleum, I love that finish. That is going to match the bike really well. The only difference is going to be is this won't be all sun faded like it is on my bike. So eventually it'll catch up to it. So, man, this just looks great. I'm really excited. I've got the hardware. Uh, I'm going with all stainless hardware. I went and bought some screws and some lock nuts and uh, some fender washers. Hopefully it'll be a little bit stronger, help hold me up a little bit better, and won't rust. I, I got stainless instead of chrome, so let's get it installed and see what it looks like.